today. Equity market plays a major role in our positions on the equity market. And as you know, we have seen uh, a great uh, recovery in 2019 for the equity market. As you would recall, we have uh, struggled into, at, the, at the end of 2018 with the volatility in the equity market, but the market have recovered uh, since, uh, since then. But overall, we have seen really a great performance in different parts of our portfolio. When you look at the divestments, you're obviously building up a sizable cash pile. Give us an indication. How much cash are you sitting on? And is that a cash pile for deployment? Uh, we, we need to look at Mubadala today at the size of the investment, at the size of the portfolio that we have today. Today, we need, we need to understand that Mubadala has an investment strategy, and that investment strategy has an asset allocation that has been allocated for the different asset classes and, and, and sector. So the recycling of capital, uh, it's not something systematic. It's something based on allocation that has been given to the different business units and they are playing tactically either on the on the on the private equity side through the funds and the co-investments or through the public investment which is today a sizable today if we look at our public investments and the overall portfolio is 21 percent so recycling that within within the public investments it creates a, a, a large uh, recycling capital for us well when it comes to doing deals i i, I look at your your your, your debt to equity ratio it's 11.8 percent the deputy CFO, is the ambition to take that, that ratio higher, the debt to equity ratio higher? Where is your comfort level on that going into 2020? Uh, remember, Mubadala has been always prudent uh, when it comes to their balance sheet. Uh, we, we are not looking to have an excessive leverage in, in our balance sheet. Today, when we look at our cash in the banks or even uh, assets that are highly liquid on the public equities, we can easily meet our debt obligations. That's one. Two, we have built a, a dry powder over the last two years. Mubadala have gone through a lot of monetization in 2018 and 2019. We have anticipated a market correction but definitely uh, not uh, COVID-19. And uh, maybe to some extent, we had that lack of raising also money from the debt capital market back in November. We have raised three and a half billion. Also last May, we have raised four billion. Uh, all this dry powder have uh, built a strong cash uh, position for Mubadala, where we're looking to deploy that across different sectors and asset classes in Mubadala. Which naturally brings me, you know, is seven billion the right number for you? Do you want to come back to the the debt markets, money is cheap. It, it, it makes sense. Will you return to the debt markets in the second half of the year? You, you are absolutely right. If I will look at the cost of funding for Mubadala on the money that we have raised on, on the last two issuances of the seven and a half billion dollars, it's 3.2%, way too cheap compared to the issuances that we had few years back or relative to any investment companies uh, in the region. So far, we don't have any plans to come to the, to the market. And I want to get a sense from you. What are the businesses saying? Are you moving more towards a V-shaped recovery. What is the narrative that your businesses are telling you about the global recovery in a post-COVID world? I think within Mubadala's group, uh, the first thing that we, we try to do with these businesses is to tap into uh, the RCF and the line of credit to ensure there is enough liquidity, especially companies that have been impacted by the, by the lockdown uh, or by the COVID-19 because of the shutdown and, and operations. Clearly, when you look into the U.S. market today, the equity market had almost erased all the losses that they have incurred on the back of uh, COVID-19. Now the question is uh, the, 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 the real economy, are we going to see uh, that, uh, that catch up? Um, if I take an example, the US market, which is a huge market that we, we invest in, I believe the US market is very uh, resilient. I mean, the US market uh, pre-COVID-19 uh, had a very uh, low unemployment rate. Uh, it's the lowest on the last 50 years. Uh, we don't see any uh, systemic risk we have seen a strong capitalization in the banking system in, 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 in the U.S. And more importantly, the U.S. government, as well as the monetary policy, has been very supportive um, of the capital uh, market. I think it would go down to, on the next few weeks, which we have really a limited data, is are we going to see another lockdown? It seems the U.S. President Donald Trump he is not going to close down uh, the economy because of the next election that is coming in September. So I think our eyes should be on the job creation and the acceleration of job creation in, in the U.S., which will actually increase the consumer sentiment and spending, which is 60% of the U.S. GDP.